There are times during fatherhood where you just may not feel like you are very important. And there's a lot of different situations that could bring these feelings on. Your wife is breastfeeding and you don't feel like you can help her in any way. Or your child gets hurt and runs over to mom. Or maybe your child needs some advice and comes to you and says, hey, do you know where mom is? Whether it's our ego, lack of confidence, or everything in between, you're going to have these moments where you feel like you aren't that important. However, I'm here to tell you that you are important. In fact, you're really important. And I'm gonna go over seven reasons why dads are important. Now, there may have been thousands to choose from, but I chose seven. We only have so much time for this video. Before we do that, a little disclaimer. I know that not all fathers are this way or have these roles. So I'm going to generalize, stereotype, and if that offends you, I apologize in advance. But if you are offended, please comment below because that helps our views. Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman, creator of the Dad University Parenting Program. If you are a dad of a young child and you want to go from overwhelmed and confused to calm and confident parent, well, my parenting course can help you. Set up a phone call, let's have a discussion, and see if you're a good fit. I'll put some information in the description below. Let's get into seven reasons why dads are important. Number one, your child needs dad's love. For a long time, dads played the role of provider. They weren't the ones that were affectionate or loving towards their children. Dads were tough, they worked a lot, and the role of loving the children was really up to the mother. Just because the fathers weren't affectionate didn't mean that they didn't love their children. They just showed their affection in different ways. They established rules and were the disciplinarians and also the providers. This was the way that they showed their love. This was their role. Affection and nurturing was primarily the mother's role. Just as there was a shift in mother's roles, there had been a huge shift in father's roles as well. So many men are more active in their children's lives and provide the affection and love that their children need. Number two, dad's presence directly affects the child's future. We may know some fatherless people who grew up to be successful. LeBron James has a story of his mother being pregnant at 16 with him and his father abandoning them. Then there's Keanu Reeves, who was abandoned by his father at the age of three. And then there's Pierce Bronson, whose father left the family when he was only two years old. While these three turned out to be exceptionally good at their craft, uh, help with charity, and be good contributing members of society, that is not always the case with fatherless homes. Unfortunately, their cases are not the norm according to statistics. A 2017 study from the University of Texas showed that involved dads have a direct impact in the future of their children's success. Children raised by involved fathers have a 39% more likelihood of having consistent A's in their academics. They are 60% less likely to be suspended or expelled from their schools. They double their likelihood of getting into college. They are twice as likely to establish a steady income after high school. They are 75% less likely to experience teenage pregnancy. They are 80% less likely to have jail time. These seem to be a pretty good argument for the fact that dads are important. So be involved with your children because it can affect their future. Number three, dad supports their emotional development. If you think that your child's emotional development is primarily because of their mom, think again. Us dads are very important to their emotional development. Emotional stability is simply higher when there are two parents versus one. Think about it, double the love. Fathers are more inclined to provide rules and enforce them. Boundaries are a good thing. While your child might not like the word no, establishing rules and boundaries is a good thing for the child. Additionally, children often look to their fathers as protectors. Them feeling safe and secure is very important to their emotional stability. Part of their emotional development is their social development. 
And dads can assist with self-esteem and them feeling good about themselves. This transfers to their social skills. They are less likely to have anxiety and social withdrawal. So being an involved father will help their emotional development. Number four, dads increase their intelligence. A 2011 study from Concordia University showed that dads that were actively involved in their children's lives actually helped them become better problem solvers. There was another long-term study in the Canadian Journal of Behavioral Science which showed the correlation between a kid's intelligence and the parenting style of their father. A total of 138 children and their willing parents participated in this study and it had three major sessions. The researchers evaluated first when the children were between three and five, and then again when the children were between nine and 13 years old. The kids, their parents, and their teachers confirmed the importance of their father's impact on their intelligence. So even if you're the goofball or the jokester of the family, you being involved and active in your child's life can help improve their intelligence. The first five years of your child's life is the most critical. The more quality time that you can spend with your child, the more likely that they will do well on cognitive assessments. Statistics show that children with active fathers do better on math and verbal tests compared to their peers, regardless of their family's socioeconomic status. Bottom line, dads can impact the intelligence of their children. Number five, dads provide a different perspective. Children are naturally curious and their parents are going to provide different perspectives. Harvard-based psychologist Paul Harris says that children ask about 40,000 questions between the ages of two and five. I think they might need to change that, that they ask that per week. If you have a young child in that age, you know the questions are relentless. And those kinds of questions go from the most deep philosophical questions to things that you don't even understand why they asked. Where do babies come from? What happens when you die? Why don't I look like my best friend? Where do bubbles go? Children growing up with two loving parents get the opportunity to have two different perspectives on things. I know that my children get the opportunity to have a different perspective on many things that my wife will have that is different from mine. And I think our children get value from that. Number six, dads can set a good example. Your child is listening, watching, and copying nearly everything you do. Sometimes it's things that you want them to copy, and other times, not so much. Your children likely won't tell you this, but they typically idolize you. They think you're a superhero. They think you are perfect. But honestly, it's important for our children to know that we aren't perfect and we make mistakes. We fix the mistake and then we move on. And for children to know that is important. In my parenting course, I go over a lot about setting a good example. The things that we say, the things that we do, how we treat people. Our children are watching and listening to all of this. If you want them to be nice, then you need to be nice. Whether you like it or not, you are probably the single biggest influence in their lives. Think about it. It's a huge responsibility, but it's also an awesome opportunity to set that good example. Number seven, dads set the bar for relationships. Recent studies show that so many households throughout the world are fatherless. And the unfortunate thing is that these fatherless households can have an impact on how the children develop relationships. The way you treat your son or daughter has an impact on how they establish relationships, whether that be romantic, professional, or even friends. If you have a son, he will likely imitate your behavior and how you interact with people. He'll model his behavior after you. If you treat other people with respect, there's more likelihood that your son will do the same. If you're not around, your son is going to look for male role models. And that doesn't always go the best way. If you have a daughter, she will look to you for security and emotional support. So how you treat her, and more specifically, how you treat her mom, will have a huge influence on how she establishes personal relationships. All of these reasons show why dads are important. But I'd love to hear from you. Why do you think dads are important? 
Leave your feedback in the comment section below. It really helps us spread our message and get this video to more people if you give this video a thumbs up. And as always, if you know anybody that might enjoy it, please share it with them. We'll see you next time.